Mmm, which one would you choose? The one that you can see the fins? Nice set of original Volkswagen heat exchangers, early style, 50 millimeter, preserved by time and patina, as in dripping oil and dust. North Car from North Carolina. They'll clean up just nice. All right, here's one cleaned up. That's after probably a good half hour of scraping all the sand and new it was a North Carolina sand off. That'll clean up just nice. We got one more to go. Mmm. That's the aftermath. Try to switch up your hands because after a while your wrist hurts. You gotta be you gotta try to make yourself become I don't know, I can't say the word, but amb ambidextrous, right? When you work with your hands so much, after time, you know, your your uh, favorite hand, your arm or whatever, is tired and you have to switch. To make yourself. That's what I notice sometimes. Maybe you do too. Good thing Volkswagen engines leak oil because these thing these things got preserved. So I'm gonna clean these up. I'm thinking about buying a sandblast cabinet, like a cheap Harbor Freight one. Um, but the only issue I'm running into right now is it needs a lot of volume as far as uh, an air compressor goes. I have a good air compressor, but it's n from what I'm gathering, it's not good enough. You need a lot of CFM, and the one I have is not probably not going to handle an air compressor, so kind of thinking it over right now because it would really be nice to have for not only um, not only this any projects plus it would help my dad I know just so nice to have but you still have to scrape this grease and grime off before you sandblast this one's coming off a lot easier must have been in a different car
That'll clean up just nice. Yeah, so I'm just cleaning these up after scraping them. Uh, I have a little purple power here. Boom! And um, a little, little burner here to keep it warm because it, it doesn't cut grease when it's cold. And um, I don't know, just kind of cutting the cutting the oil down and uh, trying to figure out what the next step is because I don't have a sandblaster and that's about it all right so this is the next step I ended up getting up getting some of these some of this because I don't have a uh, sandblaster and <clears throat> This was after um, cleaning all the oil off and wiping them down with like a engine degreaser. Um, it came pretty good. It's just the top is a little rusty, and I want to stop that rust before I paint it. And without a sandblaster, I just want to stop that rust. So, kind of brush this stuff on kills the rust and then I'm gonna paint it with a high high temperature primer and that's it for now all right so this is after that rust treatment and um, at first I didn't think it was working out and um, Feel it. it actually, I think it did pretty good. So it says you're supposed to get a coat of paint on it within 24 hours. So just give it a little blast heat and um, dry up any moisture. I'm going to give it a little coat of primer, but yeah, if you feel it. It's like really smooth. So at least it neutralized the rust. I'm not going to worry about it. Alright. Yeah, pretty happy how they came out. They're fine. They'll be fine. One of these days I'll have a proper place to do all this stuff. I gotta go easy on this paint though, I don't have much of it left. It's like 10 bucks a can. Just like that, a little bit more. All right, it's almost bedtime for me. Just came out here to take take a look at them, and it's like two coats of primer on there. I'm happier with this than buying a brand new pair of aftermarket ones even though they're probably good quality but these are original and man they look they came out great I'm happy with that a wonderful start to the day has to include homemade cinnamon raisin bread French toast and only the best thanks mom Vermont maple syrup Danville Vermont Gotta be Vermont maple syrup. Let's go. All right, we're back. And um, yeah, over the past week, this is the end result. Came out pretty nice. I'm happy with them. It's 
about three coats of finish paint on there. Okay, and I don't know, as you can see, I'm, this is one of my workbenches, but cleaned it off, and I'm starting to come to the realization that, man, I'm really, really close to being done with this engine. This is over a year in the making, a lot has been learned, uh, but it was a really cool experience to rebuild this engine, and it's actually... For me, it's more than just building the engine. This is a part of a big part of a, my lifetime dream, which I started this engine. I built an engine for it back when I was 15 years ago. And, you know, fast forward 24 years later, I think it is. Um, now I'm doing it the, the correct way, the way it was supposed to be done. And, I don't know, I just, after cleaning off the bench last night, um, just looking over my notes that I had taken and really made me think, like, wow, you know, this is a part of my, you know, a, this is a bigger thing than just an engine. It's, it's just a really cool feeling. You know, just getting all the proper tins in order. This this engine was missing a lot and it's almost ready, so it's just what I'm feeling. Um, <clears throat> that muffler, I don't think I'm going to do anything to it. Ah, oh, there is the kitty. She, I knew she was going to be in this one. Come here. Oh. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, so that's that. It's just my, my rant today. Um, yeah, the muffler. I don't think I'm going to do anything with this muffler. I think I'm just going to just run it as is it's it's new it's brand new it's just it's only been run you know basically testing wise so I'm kind of also at the point where I don't know how much more I should add to this thing because I need to get it out of the basement <clears throat> uh, you throw the heat exchangers on that's gonna add another 20 pounds or so and you know the muffler and then this is the other thing I picked up this week um, this clutch pressure plate um, this is this was an NOS plate uh, I got it locally from a place called Bug City they uh, they're up in the Berlin Turnpike but anyway um let me show you. Okay. So this was the one that I that came off the engine and I wanted to try to reuse it but there's a lot of like pitting on it that it looks okay but I think it's just, you know, from the people I talked to it's just going to tear tear apart the um, the clutch. So I'm going to go. I, I ended up going with this. It was expensive. <laughs> it was expensive, but it's the right one. NOS. It's a nice shape. I had to, there was a little bit of um, surface rust on it. I cleaned that up, and it's ready to go. And new uh, plug wires and I made an order for vacuum hose and fuel line a lot of little bits um, I didn't do fresh fresh air hoses yet I'm gonna wait till till uh, it gets a little warmer and we'll get those from a VW show but uh, with that um, I don't know I guess that's it for this video we'll talk to you on the next one Hey, if you, you like what you're seeing, leave me a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear your input. Um, you know, it's this was cool about YouTube, just, you know, watching each other's, uh, you know, projects come together, and it's just really cool. It's, I, I'd rather, I'd pick watching that over any uh, any TV that is on, 
you know, cable or whatever. But, uh, hey, we'll talk to you later.